guys down here on the Ohio River today. It's uh, a lot of overcast. Got a big spike in the river. Um, fished last night. Only got one. Here's a little clip of that. And I'm fishing a big 55 foot hole. Uh, I'm close to the bank, so I'm kind of got some. We got some rods up near that where the wall kind of goes up. We got a couple suspended on both sides, and we got six across the back with all kinds of different rigs. Uh, Santee Cooper, three way on this middle rod, which is actually getting hit right now. Um, we got some shad for bait, we just net that, so it's nice and fresh. Oh man, no, it snagged up. Oh no. I should have fished it that other time. That's a good fish. Good takedown. Right into something. Gosh darn, you gotta be kidding me. Couldn't feel him still. There he is. Nope. Ah, oh, he's big. Good takedown, huh? Are you kidding me? Rushing the boat. Yeah, he's rushing the boat on me. Probably want to get this one. Up. I gotta I gotta get him over here. Probably can get this side rod up. He's coming. He's coming. fighter. Also fishing kind of a seam right here. Not a bad fish at all. Bad little way to start the day. At least we got a fish. Broke the ice here. Let's let her go home. Mad mama. <laughs> and then uh, today, it's a whole different story. So we'll see what we can do today. And here comes all the boats. Jeez, old Pete. Took him a bit to hold on to that. Got him though. Got to get him up over. I got him fishing a big wall out there. There he comes. Got him over it. It's Saturday, and I'm usually working, but I'm working tomorrow, so I'm out fishing for a little bit today. A lot of boats going on. It makes the fishing world rough. Woo! <laughs> Just a little youngster, but that's all right.
just a little young blue cat, but uh, I'm happy to see him. Nice little, nice overcast day. It's nice, it's 77, 77 degrees today, which makes life a lot easier. And uh, I'm just having a nice coffee, recuperating from last night's fishing trip, which was a one cat deal. So, hey, how about that? Can't get too close to this water because we got all this algae right here. He's good. All right. Maybe we get one more before we go. See what happens, you know. You know the drill. Well, it's the end of the week, and it's been a slow one, that's for sure. I did manage to get a few fish throughout this week, fished several times. Uh, it's definitely been slow. We've had a lot of up and down kind of river levels, and some odd weather so I don't know sometimes the fish just act weird and they just don't eat you know and then tomorrow is a whole nother day they could be just pounding baits you just you know how it is on the bank got our 12 foot surf rods out they've been sitting there waiting for a little while I've been out in the boat quite a bit anyhow we're gonna see if we can get us a flathead. This is about the time of year. They like to get on this concrete structure over by my house. Uh, I'm actually throwing a three-way on this one. So that way I got one suspended. My other one's just got a regular Carolina rig. And it's probably gonna be a real short trip today. Don't listen to your neighbor when it comes to where the bait is because there was supposed to be so much shad down here they were jumping off onto the bank. Well. I made about 50 throws with the net and I got one big one. We might get three pieces out of it. Wow. Look at that guy. Man. Rattle to the metal on that. He crushed the living crap out of that thing. I'll back off on that drag. I got a lot of got a lot of uh, concrete to run through out there. He ain't even moving yet. <sighs> Keep it up. I gotta bring it up over this wall. Catch me in something. Good lord. <laughs> he ain't even that big. Unless he's tricking me. Wow. Sunk it. Fishing a bunch of structure. Nice little blue cat. Grips are a mile away from me. Well, I was just thinking about moving. I don't know, maybe I better stay for a minute. Like the way that fish took that bait. Wow, donkey, calm down. He took a uh, the three-way rig. Took the three-way rig and a piece of shad. He's got him a little war wound on the side from spawning still. Actually, I'm pretty sure that's a female. That might have come from something else. Anyway, there she is, a beautiful fish. Absolutely. Got some uh, little funny smarks here and there on her. Well, let's let her go home. She's ready. 
don't have to worry about that. Turn around, baby. Turn around. Out. And that's how we do it. Off the bank, in the structure. Scorching hot, so hot my eyeballs are sweating. I still think we're gonna move. I've got a funny feeling I know where there's some small skipjack. And usually if the small skipjack are around, that's what they're eating. They're not that hard to catch either. So let's see what we can do. Go, 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 go. A little more, a little more, a little more. Oh, pull it out. Pull it out. No, I got him. Came in with him some. against something. After work special kind of day, you know. Just trying to get my fingers dirty. go. That's what it's all about. A couple hours after work, a couple fish. Can't complain about that, you know. One big gizzard shad chopped him up into a few pieces. 13 minute drive from home down here on the river. You gotta love that, you know. See you later, buddy. Thanks for the free dinner. All right. Well, we'll hang out another five minutes. Uh, still got one little chunk of bait left over here on this one rod. So, just going to chill out a minute. I got a nice iced tea. I'm sitting in the shade back here in these woods watching the poles. So, I'm enjoying myself. But it is extremely hot, and uh, I'm almost out of iced tea, you know, so it's about time to head on back. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. Share it with your buddies, hopefully. Thanks again. See you next time.